I will be up in the booth by myself here, but we have Sugar Show promotion, Sugar Show 1. Um, yeah, we do have Sugar Show 1 here. And, uh, yep, yeah, man, we, we got we got a fight. We got a fight here. Uh, we have only one fight, unfortunately. Ricky Fadden versus Ricky Fat. Ricky Fadden versus Jai Smooth, and that will be ten rounds. Um, and yep, yeah, man, this should be should be an overall relatively fun fun bout to watch. Uh, you know, both of these guys making their S -E SFC um, SFC debuts. Um, and yep, yeah, I, I can't wait to see what these guys have. You know, uh, Ricky Fadden won two medals in the Olympics. Um, Two medals in the Olympics, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's here. He's set to make his pro debut, so we're just waiting on, waiting on these guys to, to uh, you know, get ready. They're getting ready to come out of their corner rooms, and uh, yep, should be should be fun. Yep, yep, yep. And there goes the SFC rules. Uh, so the first one, um, first one being minimum pun step punching, you know, um, minimum step punching, you know, uh, you know, barely any, don't do it too much. Um, and the second one is no no more exception no more than 200 punches thrown for each round in eight round bouts the jab is always an exception 230 for 10 round bouts and 275 um for 12 round bouts and this one will be a 10 rounder so 230 for that and uh the body shots cannot exceed 40 percent compared to the total punches thrown and no chicken wing punching those are the sfc unified rules and um Yep, we, we got a good event for you guys coming up. And uh yeah, it should should be fun. Should be fun. Yeah, yep, yep. And here goes next gen fight night Dempsey versus Parks. You know, that's the event that will be coming on a little bit from now. Um and yeah, man, we we got some relatively good competition on there. Instead of Dave Burke and T Tua, we got uh, Adonis Creed in the co-man event fighting Javier Gonzalez, and uh, we got uh, Joshua Flores stepping in to fight Dave uh, Jack Smith. Yep. So we're still getting ready. Show oh yeah 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 show the show the betting odds. Uh we, we got we got another we got another commentator joining. We got my boy Dez. <laughs> um Yeah yeah we got we got Dez. We got Dez coming in. Uh there he is. What's what's going on, Dez? Yo. Yo man. Uh yeah, we got so this is Sean's event, you know, unfortunately. The two, the two undercard bouts, and one of the opponents pulled out, and uh, like so, both of the guys made plans. So like James pulled out and Ezard, they were both of them nowhere to be found. Their opponents, they already made plans, um, so they're not able to fight. So the the main event, uh, we just got Ricky Fadden versus Jai Smooth, and uh, Ricky Fadden minus four hundred and forty uh, favorite, while Jai Smooth is a plus three hundred and twenty underdog. Um, Yep, yep. Right, so, so we're, we're live right now. Yeah, yeah, we're live. We're live on Twitch. Uh, right, Kevin, cool. go to the stream. Go to the stream. All right, this is this. We got Ricky Fat in there, the beast, and we got Jai Smooth there on the other side. T 
teams that we may have another bout. We got Alexis Urbina versus Bada, Baba Tunde Ad, Ademola coming up after this. So this is the main event. This is the main event. Uh, Adonis, you just send me your scores in each round uh, in DMs. And uh, Kevin, you do the same thing. All right, so there goes Ricky Fadden walking out. The, the two-time Olympic gold medalist winning medals for the UK and the Olympics. Um, he's ready to make his, his pro debut. And I mean, you know, Adonis, man, we, we've seen him in the in the Olympics, man. You know, Josiah Creed, uh, you know, we, we've seen him in the Olympics. You know, we've, we've, we've been able to even work with him. He's a true a true winner, man, true winner. Yeah, and one of those things about Ricky Fan that uh, really shocked me the most, you know, is his, uh, is his just his courage in, in the ring. You know, he has a lot of – he's really smart in the ring. He understands the, uh, how this sport is supposed to be played, and, you know, he's really good at it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ricky Fadden, definitely uh, a top, a top, you know, someone that you should look out for. And there goes Jai Smooth. We have not seen much of Jai Smooth <coughs> in the amateurs, but um, I can't wait to see what he has here, man. Can't yeah, wait. To see the few things I've heard through Jai Smooth, he's you know he's a quick fighter. He's uh he's very good on his feet. So, you know you're gonna need that today. If you're gonna when you're going against a good uh, counter puncher like uh Ricky Fadden today. Yep. And the stream is lagging. I'm not yeah, sure what's yeah. going on. Um, Me here. But hopefully, hopefully it gets fixed. Uh, all right, we got nine viewers. So shout out to everybody watching. Um, we're trying to. So unfortunately, we have a stream issue. Uh, all right, we're gonna yeah we're gonna reload it and then get it popping. Hopefully. And the stream did end, unfortunately. I don't know how that happened. Uh, dang, that that kind of sucks. Um, I think Jai's Xbox might have turned off. A quick intermission. Quick intermission. So now, so now we got Alexis Arbina facing Baba Tunde Adamola. Adamola was supposed to uh um he was supposed to face Gregory Rasputin who picked up a win last week against Abraham King. Um but yeah man, Gregory Rasputin, he was very pissed that uh that Baba Tunde uh was out. And now, you know, we get to see Baba Tunde come out here and face uh Alexis Urbina in what should be a fun bout. Yeah. You know, you talk about Gregory Rasputin. He's one of those guys I'm really excited. You know, I'm really excited to watch him fight throughout his uh, career. You know, he brings a lot of ex uh, excitement to the sport, to the league. And, uh, you know, he comes from a long bloodline of, uh, you know, tough, gritty fighters. Yeah, man, Gregory, man, the guy, he, he's done a lot in the amateurs. He, he does have some... Uh... He does have some losses on his amateur record, but, you know, very, very tough fighter. And, you know, he, he started off his pro career with a win, so that's a that's good to see. Yeah, Gregory Rasputin, you know, not much you know now. A little about things you could say about this guy. He's just, you know, very tough fighter. You know, if you're going to beat him, you're going to have to put him down. So it's, it's good to have a guy like that in your corner. Yep, yep. So yeah, some quick intermission. Um, how we are in the intermission? Let's look at some things that uh, Alexis are being said in the press conference yesterday. All right, so th these are some of the things that Alexis said in the press conference yesterday. You know, he said his English isn't good. He's coming out of. Um, out of Argentina, um, yeah, man. He said, you know, he has a tough opponent. Um, 
yeah, he has a tough opponent, you know, is a, you know, he, he, he said he has a respect for James. Unfortunately, James, his corner and his team were failing it this morning, so they had to pull out of the bout. Um, and at the end there, you know, he said that it should be a very, very, uh, very close bout. Um, so, well, yeah, basically, you know, and he said he shouldn't be anywhere. Sorry, guys, I'm reading the SFC chat as well. Probably should close that. Um, but... Yeah, he said he shouldn't be any anywhere uh, over a minus two hundred favorite because it's a close bout, and uh, he he ended the the press conference with a call out to Rasputin in Spanish, you know. So, uh, Zach Miller he he translated that, and uh, that's what it says there at the bottom. Um, but yep. So you know, quick intermission. The bouts are coming back on. Um, so so uh, yeah, the bout should be back in a minute. I will be right back. All right, here we go. Um, Jai Smooth versus Ricky Fadden. Not sure what happened to Dez, but uh, but yeah, here goes the main event. All right, there goes Dez. He's right back. Really excited to see how this one's gonna pan out for both these fighters. You know, it's really early in the careers, obviously. Ricky Fatten, you know, this is his first, uh, his is his debut before both these guys. Can't wait to see what these guys bring to the table. Yep, yep. Right, there goes Jai Smooth, you know, there goes Ricky Fadden. Coming into this fight, what do you think some of the uh, things that both these fighters need to display to walk out of here with the win? Looks like Rock is not here right now. But the fight is underway. He back comes in. A little aggressive. Throwing those hooks, those uppercuts. Ricky Fan seems to be applying pressure. Josh moving not backing down though. Smooth does seem very, he's not reluctant to sit here and throw with Fadden. I mean, from what I've seen, Smooth has passed the eye test. You know, he, he you know, he, he knows how to pump his guard, you know. Um, and yeah, he, he seems to have some pretty relatively decent combinations here. Right now, pretty fast, throwing a lot of shots, but, you know, with Dry Smooth picking and choosing his shots, he's doing a pretty good job of landing what he can. Yep. We know Ricky Fan from his, you know, his amateur uh, career. He's he was very outstanding in that process. He's the Ricky Fan's not going to come in here and uh, and just you know fall short and you know sit back and wait for Josh Smooth to want to fight. He's going to take the fight to Josh Smooth and see what's happening here. So I think this is these early rounds are going to be really huge for especially for Josh Smooth to earn the respect of Ricky Fan in this ring. 
Oh yeah, that was nice. Rear hook landed by Smooth there. Ooh, good shot to the red cage from Smooth. Last 30 seconds of this first round. Oh, uh, Smooth switches over to Orthodox. Maybe he sees something that he can, you know, see. exploit there. It looks like a little bit of blood on the trunks of Smooth. I'm not sure if that's coming from Fat or Smooth, but we're going to find out the break. Last 10 seconds Ooh, of the round. It's combination by both. That was a really, really, really good first round there. And Fadden does have nice. a cut open. You guys can send right in your, your scorecard. Your, your score, I mean. Smooth looks, smooth looks really good here. Looks really good in there. Um, he switches over to Orthodox again. Oh, that was a nice uppercut mm. there by Smooth. Oh, that was a nice straight landed there by Fadden. Mm. Smooth is really taking the fight to Ricky Fat, and these guys are not holding back in these early rounds. This is a good slugfest right now. So yeah, yeah, it is a good slugfest. Adonis, you did cut out there. Um, but, yeah, uh, it looks – oh, that was nice straight there getting through by Fadden. And, yeah, man, it seems that, you know, uh, Smooth is the one who's going to be, um, you know, controlling uh, the, the ring control, it seems that. And that was a nice jab there by Jai Smooth. Nice uppercut lands by Fadden. Good combination there by Fadden with the hook into the uppercut. That was a nice jab there by Fadden. Fadden seems to be fighting off of his power punches more so. Not the jab as he lands a great uppercut. Don is left again. He's back in. I think you had the disconnect problem with Donis. Uh, but yeah, Fadden is putting in some good body work. Look at that with the jabs. Oh, that was a nice uppercut there by Jai Smooth. Right here. Yeah, this is a true slug fest, man. Uh, Fadden, he has been getting the most. He's getting get, getting the best out of it, but uh, Smooth is. He's right there with him. He's right there with him. I'll give him that. Nice hooks there by Ricky Fadden. Nice jab. I, that's, that was a good round, too. Good round for Ricky oh, yeah. Fadden, uh, but a very entertaining round. There was no losers in that round, to be honest. No losers in that round. Uh, yep. You know, whoever, whoever gets that second round should not be upset. Whoever loses MC, I mean, should not be upset because both fighters fought very well in that second round. I just let you know right there, this is going to be a back and forth fight. This could go the distance the way it's looking right now. Yeah, I, I, I think this could go the distance. You know, to be fair, I think this could go the distance. Everybody try to move. The body shots landed by Ricky Fadden right there. Yep. Ricky Fadden looking for the pullback straight, it you know, seems. We're seeing Ricky do what he does very well, and that's be patient and let his opponent out punch himself. And then right now, you know, right now, Josh Smith, he's swinging at uh, Ricky Fadden a lot. He's not really landing too much, but Ricky making sure he gets the punishment back. Hey, Josh Smooth, this guy, he, he's official. He's official, you know. We don't, you know, we haven't seen Ricky Fadden get this much of a fight, you know, even in the amateurs. Uh, but Fadden is, he he is fighting right back, and he's he's not losing this fight. It's either 19-19 uh, or you got Fadden up 2-0. You know, he's not losing this fight. He's able to land his own shots. And Smooth, he's kind of, you know, taking a round off, it seems. You know, he's not able to land with frequency. I think Fadden has gotten down his timing. Then one thing Jai Smooth needs to work on these, you know, 
when it comes down to these four, five, and six rounds and, you know, the middle of this fight, you know, just being more patient with his shots and allowing the fight to come to him, that's how you're going to be able to knock out this guy right here or, you know, even taking the distance. The thing for Ricky Fatten is, can he withstand the punishment of, you know, him throwing these good these shots and Jackson catching them back? Yep. Yeah, that's that's a true question there to see, you know, if Ricky can withstand the 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 shots that, you know, uh, well, no, if Jonathan will withstand the shots that Ricky is throwing at him. Overall, good, and Ricky taunts at the end of that round. Uh oh, this may get this may get you know that may add some more fuel to the fire. That was a good round there by Ricky. Um, in my opinion, the the unofficial judge gave it to Jai, but yeah, nah. I think that was a good round by Ricky. Jai kind of took that round off, it seemed. Oh, Ricky putting in some work with his rear hand, you know, with the hook and the straight. Oh, nice uppercut there by Smooth. Oh, now it's a nice straight lands there by uh, Jai Smooth. Ricky's doing a good job of blocking a lot of these shots away. Um, making sure that there's no damage done from those shots. Only, yeah, I, I you know, these guys are trading some here a bit. Um, but yeah, it's it, overall for the most part, it's been a, a clean fight. Ricky tries ahead, but gets hit with a hook. That was a nice uh, lead uppercut there by Smooth as Fadden was trying to hit him to the body. Uh, the jab is there by Fadden. It seems that Smooth he likes to lean, dive, kind of dive in with his uh, with his rear uppercut to the body. All right, Adonis is back. Last 30 seconds of the fourth round. Well, now it's old. That was a nice combination there by Fadden with the hook into the straight. Oh, that was nice. And yeah, and Smooth, he, he's still in the fight, but, you know, Smooth, I feel that Jai Smooth, he needs a kind of... Uh, you know, uh, what, what should he? He needs to throw more and try to take control of this fight. You know, because the momentum is slowly slipping away from him. The first two rounds were very, very, you know, very, very close, and now you know, the last two it seems that like he's just not throwing with the same intensity. Did I give my? Oh, that was a nice hook there by Fadden. Yeah, Fadden's starting to catch him with the with the uh, the hooks. <clears throat> yeah, I think one thing Jasmine needs another to work one. on. One thing Jasmine needs to work on this during this fight is you know getting some control. You know, we've seen Ricky Fad has some some rounds in this fight already where you know he's looking like the better fighter. We need to see a mm -hmm. round where Jasmine can you know take control and you know back down uh, Ricky Smooth. Uh, sorry, Ricky uh, Fadden. To a corner, or you know, have Ricky Fatten looking back. And it seems like Jai is taking your uh, your advice, Adonis. You know, letting the fight come to him. You know, he's not going to be walking Ricky down, and Rick, he's not able to hit Ricky there. Ricky, beautiful defense. He's in the head movement, everything. Oh, oh, that was a nice uppercut. Yeah, I got through there by Jai Smooth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that was a nice uppercut again by Jai Smooth. Oh, Jai Smooth snaps the head of Fadden back. Oh, Jai Smooth. Oh. He's looking really fierce right now. We can keep this up. Let's see if we can keep this up for the last 40 seconds. Oh. Fadden still, you know, blocking most of the shots coming his way. Oh, that was a nice hook. That lands there by uh, Smooth, the lead hook. Wait, 
Good shots of the body, uppercuts are smooth. And that's a good fifth round for Jai Smooth. And he opens that cut on Ricky Fadden's eye a little bit more. That's something to look out for. Jai Smooth, that's a great last minute for him in that fifth round. Ricky Fan being patient here to start the sixth round off. Ooh, misses that hook there. Then uppercut. Ooh, that hook lands there for that. I love hook right there. Lands for Ricky Fatten. Body shots right now from Fadden. He's taking control of this. Oh, Jai so Smooth gets stunned. Oh, Smooth. Fadden's going for it. Smooth. He's on the uh -oh. feet, though. He goes though. down. Oh, Ricky fight. Round oh, six. Guys on him. Jai and goes, goes down. down. Wow. Smooth's on the ground. Can he pick himself up? Yeah, I mean, Adonis, man, that kind of came straight out of nowhere, man. Uh, It, it really did. Um, it seemed that Fadden was just breaking yeah. Smooth down, and that was kind of just out of nowhere because Smooth, he looks fresh. He looks fresh, and there are no cuts on his face or anything, Um, yeah, but he smooth. just got caught off caught off balance or something. Yeah, Smooth right there. You know, he's been fighting really well today. It doesn't seem like he, you know, he had, he lost any stamina, you know, you know, just looking at body language, of course, but, you know, it's right there, just unexpected knockdown, but, you know, Fighters are gonna you're gonna go down in some fights, but the only thing is the only way it matters is what you're gonna do when you get back up. So Jack Smooth, he still has some more rounds to, to see what he can do here. Yeah, obviously one of the big things. Three more rounds to work. Got a little bit under twenty seconds in this round. I mean, you know, one of the big things here in this uh, fight so far is Ricky Fan does have a cut under his eye. So the stream you know, did buffer a little, but it's good. Fadden walking him down with great defense, and that is a good round, successful round by Ricky Fadden. I think one of the things that, you know, Jai Smooth Corner needs to be telling him right now is that, you know, in this fight right now, you need to be working on the things that have been working for you. So that's, you know, find the counter punches after Ricky, you know, after Ricky misses. So I think right now he needs to be working on that, on that uh, cut under the eye. And that's yeah, he needs that's, a, that's needs, yeah, he definitely needs to look for to target the cut. There's more damage, you know, under that eye that he'll find. The fad and his counter punching looks really good. And I mean, you know, it was kind of a tough, uh, a tough, you know, a tough fight for Fadden. Oh, and then he gets it with another one. The sidestep uppercut. Oh. And smooth is stunned again. Fadden going for it. And he goes down by a body shot and eats an uppercut while he's falling Ooh. to the canvas. That was a beautiful wow. body shot Jai counter. Smooth on the ground Jai again. Smooth is on the ground again. And this is when you start to wonder, does, the, does this fighter have courage? Can he get back up and continue the fight? We're going to find yeah, that's out. That's a serious question after after that punt, that shot that he ate. And he does get back up. Let's see how long he's going to stay down for because this could be like the Canelo versus Plant thing. Get up, and you're not all the way there, and then you just get bum rushed and uh, knocked out. Fadden's really going for it. Yeah, Fadden's going for the knockout. I need to now. watch out though, cause Jai Smooth, he he oh, Fadden, he's not watching out. But Jai Smooth, he definitely has some power of his own. But yeah, I think Smooth just needs to, you know, try to land the counter punches, like you said. Um I mean Jai Smooth, he's he's really in this bout. He really he is really in this bout. He's kind of falling out of it now. But I think, you know, if he could come back and win these last three rounds, you know, um, he could possibly, you know, the last three I mean by eight, nine, and ten. He could possibly win this uh this fight. Oh, and there goes Ricky catches him with the with the chicken uh, wing. Another one. Ricky's he's taunting him. This is dirty by Ricky. And Ricky Ricky's he's playing sad. around with him, man. <laughs> Ricky's acting like Lomachenko kind of sorta. Of. Ricky Fadden's having fun in the ring right now. And that's one of the dangerous things you don't want to you hate to see from your opponent. If I'm Josh Smooth, you gotta be worried about this. Your fight, your opponent has no worry in the world of what you can do right now. Josh Smooth has lost the respect of Ricky Fatten in the ring so far. 
Yeah, I, I I think the reason why Ricky did that was because he did catch Jai with a chicken wing punch, and those are illegal. Um, so you know that it, that was the right thing to do uh, by backing off. Now the thing with the chicken wing punching is that, oh, you know, the thing if you use it, you know, multiple times, and Ricky, that was the first time I've seen him use it, and you know those things do kind of come out on accident. Um, but yeah, man, I, I respect Ricky for not, you know, uh, finishing him. But if we're talking about on a realistic note, he was playing around with Jai, and uh, yeah, bro, you know, Fadden's just playing around with playing around with Jai Smooth. Smooth doesn't really have too much of an answer. Yeah. There goes the scorecards. The unofficial scorecard. And oh, Fadden's looking to finish it. Smooth is smooth is seriously hurt. Um, Fadden's really, really looking for the finish. There he goes with the hooks, the hooks, the uppercut. Jeez, oh uh, Ricky. Yeah, Fadden, he's, he's Smooth is trying to move around. He's trying to move away. One two there by really Smooth. Take it. Yeah, man. But if Fadden Ricky, gets him in the corner again, it could be works. over. Smooth is trying to move around. He just can't do too much. You know, he's so hurt. Yeah. yeah, he's so hurt, you know. Um, he yeah, bro, you know it's it's not. Oh, that was a nice uppercut. He's fighting back, but he's fighting off the back foot. We just don't see the same intensity from him that we've seen in the first four rounds. Fadden is truly broken him down. Fadden going for it with the hook, the left hook. He tripled it out there. Jai Smooth, though, I mean, he has earned the respect of a lot of people with this performance. You know, two time. Uh, Olympic medalist, and he's coming in here and really putting up a fight. Last minute of the eighth round. If I'm dry smooth right now, the best thing I want to do for myself, you know, try to get some, you know, slick counters or anything I can get, and uh, try to make the fight go to the distance. It definitely. And it has to come from good defensive play right now. What can you do while you're hurt? Have you and you have you been working in your training camp of what you can do when you're part when you're uh. Skill set is limited. Last 20 seconds of the eighth round. Is that we're supposed to show up? Um, you know, yeah, it's supposed to be. Um, it seems that all the fighters are showing up. James Tony's coming up, showing up. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, yeah, bro. That was a good round by uh, Jai Smooth. You know, he didn't get knocked down, but he was still, he was still on the. Uh, yeah, really hesitant. Still, yeah, he was still, he was still on the back foot, and Fadden had most of the, um, yeah, he had most of the control there. Yeah, when we come down to this ninth round, we're gonna see what what Ricky Fad is gonna have in store in this round. I don't know if he's gonna try to go for the knockout here, but he's definitely making sure Jai Smooth doesn't get too comfortable. Ricky not swinging back at all. Yeah. And right now, he just, Ricky Fines just playing with Jai Smooth in the ring right now. He's just, <laughs> Jai Smooth just can't hit anything right now. Fadden's really playing around with him. Ricky Fadden is winning the fight in the ninth round without even throwing a punch right now. This is crazy, cause I mean, smooth isn't able to hit him. And I mean, if I was smooth, I'd try to go to the body. You know, take what Fadden's giving him. Goes for the push straight and eats a counter straight. minute of the knife. Here goes Ricky Fadden. And yeah, Fadden, not much going on this round. Oh, that was a nice hook by Fadden, though. That's 25 seconds. Let's see 
if if Ja is still the round. Yeah, I mean Ja. Yeah, this isn't a hard round to steal from Ricky, but uh, yeah, oh, that was a nice one too. That breaks the guard there by Ricky, and yeah, good round by Ricky. Good round by Ricky again. I mean Ja is smooth. He he tried it, but yeah, it seems that they got that fat, that cut on Fadden's eye closed up. Um, yeah, his corner did a really good job of making sure that was sealed for him, and you know it doesn't seem to be effective. We head into the tenth round. Dry smooth. He could have won that ninth round right there. I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the judges are all the judges want to give him there. You know, if he landed some more earlier, he could have definitely had himself another round. Yeah, that was a round he definitely could have won. Um, and yeah, man. Uh, yeah, it's you know it's still still one more round for him to come out here and do something. Um. So so yeah, we we still we still got still got um still a chance for Dry smooth here. Switches back to southpaw. Yeah, the only chance he's gonna have is if he can just catch Ricky fast slipping or something. He's gonna yeah. hold. He's gotta hold. You know, Ricky to at fan. least try to win this round or get a knockdown. You know, right. to make sure that uh, to make sure um, uh, to make sure that you know he gets here. the respect that he deserves. I think Josh was gonna get his respect either way. A lot of people, yeah, the Ricky exactly. fans. A lot of people in Ricky Fan's amateur career were was not able were not able to go the distance with him all the time, especially ten rounds. Right now, he's one minute away from doing that. Yeah, exactly. A lot of respect to him, and he's still throwing back, and he's still catching Fadden with some things. So Josh Smith's a young guy. He has you know he hasn't been doing this very long. Ricky Fadden obviously has a you know a long amateur career. You know, Josh Smooth is a young kid. He's going to have a lot of things he's going to work on. And I can see really a lot of potential in this guy right here. And I'm glad we get ready to watch him in his, you know, in one of his first early, one of his first fights ever. Yep. Yep. Very entertaining bout. Very entertaining. Um, Last 20 seconds after, here. After this, we will get to uh, Alexis Urbina versus Babatunde Adamola. And then after that, we'll go on to the next gen fight night, uh, Dempsey versus Parks. Um, James Two, Tony one, is on that's standby. Gonna that's gonna do All it. Right. Ricky Fatten yep. seems to look like a lot of people's eyes that Ricky Fat has just started his career of one and zero. Yeah, you know the judges are they're tallying up their scores, uh, but yeah, I think Ricky Fatten has won this one pretty obviously. Um, but yeah, man, this this should be should be a, a fun a fun bout. Um, right there, the stats show up for you. There goes the stats. Yeah, Josh yeah. Move definitely he made a good name for himself. This was a very very fun and sim match. Mm -hmm. You know, very yeah, yeah. very fun sim match. Yeah, really no good punch stats. Really good yeah, punch stats really for Josh. Really good punch stats. And both um, fighters. Yep. So you go ahead, Adonis, you can send in your your scores. And we're seeing the round by round scores. Um But yeah, this is this was a very, very fun bout. Um after this, like I said, we get to Baba Tunde versus Baba Tunde versus uh Alexis Urbina. Then we got the next gen fight night, the first next gen card. Um and Kevin, you can show that after we get these scorecards. And um all right, here we go. Um so judges are tallying up the scorecards right now. Adonis, if you want, go ahead and give a recap of this bout. Right, yeah. So. You know, early on in this fight, you know, we saw in the first couple of early rounds that, you know, Jai Smooth, he looked very enthusiastic about this. Right? He had a lot of energy coming into this. Ricky, Ricky, uh, Ricky Fan, you know, he started off the f uh, first round, and he came in, in the middle of the ring. He started throwing. I mean, uh, Jai Smooth, he didn't back down. He threw back. You know, that lasted for a little bit for Josh Smooth until he was able to use He went down that sixth round. That really affected him. And uh, when you go as a fighter, when you go down, you can lose confidence but and you, or you can gain courage. And it looks like to me, Josh Smooth did a little bit of both. He was able to get back up. Not a lot of fighting he was able to do after that, you know, obviously being that hurt. But, you know, still a lot of respect to the young guy for coming in here in his first fight and going against one of the, you know, top competitors, you know, coming out the UK. And, uh, Tap, you know, yeah. tip your hats off to Ricky Fan for you know his debut, and he comes in here and gets a big win. It's a competitor that I think in a couple, in a you know, in a while, in a little bit, that you know can have an opportunity of being in a really big main event match again. 
Yep, yep. Um, yeah, man, that, that was a very fun bout. Um, so now I'm, I'm still trying to get these scorecards, um, unfortunately. Uh, but, but yeah, man, um, so very, very fun fight. We see the scorecards here. Um, all right, so here goes the scorecards. The first judge, well, two judges have it, 98-90. Other judge has it, 97-92. I mean, 97, 93. Your winner by unanimous decision, Ricky Fadson. You know, Ricky, he really deserved that bout. Yeah. He really deserved that win. Uh, Kevin, you can go to the next gen thing now. High respect for Ricky Fadson. Yeah, and a, a lot of a lot of respect to Jai Smooth. Um, a lot of respect to Jai Smooth there, man. Uh, for you know, just stepping up and giving Ricky a challenge. Giving Ricky a, a challenge, man. Um, and there goes the next gen fight night, Dempsey versus Parks. You know, uh, you know we got Javier Gonzalez versus Adonis Creed. Not this one, but another one. Uh, and we got uh, what's this guy's name? Jack Smith versus Josh Flores. And uh, in the main event, Jack Dempsey going up against um Marco Parks. And if Parks does not show up, we got James Tony on standby. So that will be. In, the, in approximately an hour, you know, as it is for now. Um, but, yeah, very, very, very fun bout. Um, very fun card. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to send you that link, Kevin, so we could go on to the next bout. And then we'll, we'll after that, we'll get go on and move on to our, uh, we'll move on to that next gen event in a little bit. Um but yeah, Donna, so you know, you you are one of the me and you we put together these cards. Uh what what are your thoughts on this card? You know, we're just putting out some some people that we don't really know too much about but are on next gen. Yeah. And uh yeah, man, this should be a fun one. What are your thoughts on that, Donis? You know, you know, I'm really excited for the main event. But one of the fights that I really uh you know, I really think that there's gonna show up to be one of the best is Tua versus uh Gonzalez. And I think that fight right there that can go either way for both fighters, as I do the main, as well. I do think so for the main event also, <clears throat> but I, I think you know when you look at those, you know some of those undercard matchups, and you and uh, you know, I think a lot of people do come a little bit earlier for fights like that to see you know what the young talent has that you know offer, and you know I think Tua versus Gonzalez should be one of the you know most more exciting matchups you know on this mm -hmm. card. Obviously, yeah. got the main event, Dempsey versus Parks, and I say like I said, I think that one's gonna go. It's gonna go either way. I've Both sparred fighters. Dempsey a few times. Dempsey, he's he's ready, bro. He's ready. Um, and yeah, Marco Parks, I've sparred him. You know, I I told him there were some things that uh that he needs to work on, but yeah, bro, he he he's ready as well. So this should be a fun bout. You know, uh, hopefully both sides show up. And if they don't, James Tony, he's a he. You know, he, in the in the amateurs, he made some noise in the American scene. Um, so yeah, we're you know if he doesn't show up, then uh, then yeah, James yeah. Tony will step in to fight Dempsey. So this should be uh, fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. On to on to uh, Alexis Urbina versus Baba Tunde Adamola. That is an eight round bout, and uh, it's coming up next. Yep. On two. Yep. All right, Kevin, you can uh, go to that one. Real quick. Okay. All right, there goes our next bout. All right, we got Alexis Urbina versus Baba Tunde Adamola. Um, should should be should be a nice, so cool, fun bout. Um, Alexis yeah, versus Tunde. Yeah, Baba Tunde. This guy, you know, coming out of Nigeria, you know, um, he, he's he's ready to start his pro career, and I, I I'm sure he wants to start it off with a win. Um, yep. So here he is, and this this will be a score scored bout this is it should be a close one 
uh, being that he did have a lot of drawing to do with Rasputin, and he called him a son of a B-word in the press conference in Spanish. And uh, Rasputin, all it took for him was one Google Translate search, and he was in the press conference, and he got he kicked had, out, uh, unfortunately. We got Here Alexis we go. in the black trunks, Balatonde in the gold. Oof. These guys are coming out early with the shots. They sure are. Baba Tony backed up into the corner and on the ropes now. Arbina, oh, he's taking shots Arbina's, on the ropes. Yeah, Arbina's Arbina. landing these joints, man. Oh my goodness, man. This is a slugfest already. Now Baba Tony's in the corner. He has to show some defense here. He's just backing himself up. Yeah, he, he, he has to throw, man, because Arbina, he's walking him down with ease. One thing I will say, Urbin better be careful. He looks like he's leaving himself open. Some shot right there. But Batonde is able to land some uh, land a one two right there. Whew, nice hook right there from Babatonde. Now hook return back from Urbina. Ooh, nice counter right there from Ubina. He's got squared off in the middle of the ring now. Nice shot to the body from both fighters right there. Once again, Babatonde against those ropes, he needs to get out of there and show some to the defense here. Right now, he's just like he's getting walked down by you being, and that's not a good sign early on. Last five seconds. And what fireworks in that first round we had there from both fighters right there. That round could go either way. Both guys took some shots, and you know, both guys landed some. Oh, man. Shots to the body from you being up. Abatonde looks a little lost in the ropes now. He's taking shots everywhere. Another hook to the face. Oh, good counter right there from Babatonde. Oh, two good hooks right there from Ubina. Abatonde tries to get back to the middle of the ring. Straight landed by Ubina. Hook landed. Another straight right there from Ubina. Another hook from Ubina. Another hook from Ubina. Wow. Two right hooks from Ubina, a straight right there from the left. Ubina's picking and choosing. He's picking well. Two hooks right there from Ubina. Baba Tonde, he looks a little lost. His head's bobbing back. Yeah, Baba Tonde is seriously hurt here. Um, Adonis, you can send in your scorecards for round one. Um, yeah, Baba Tonde, he does look lost. Um... Going to put cover right there from Baba Tone, but I don't think that's going to be enough to Baba stun Tunde, him. Baba right really, I think him versus Gregory would have been really, really, um, really interesting. Yeah, for sure. Oh, now it's not one nice. That was a nice one, too, there by uh, Baba Tunde. Yeah, right now, Ubina. Ubina's you know, firing back. <laughs> and even though Ubina, you know, seems to have control over this fight, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Babatone, the way both these fighters are fighting, that Babatone could find some way to land some high punches on Ubina also. That uh, was, was a nice little fun round. That was a fun round. That was a nice uppercut there by Baba Tunde. Ooh, nice one. Idiot. 
Sure, yeah, Bina. Bina, he's really landing. He he has the rain control and everything with these these shots to the body, and uh, that's the scary yeah. thing about it. You know, it's one thing to you know to be getting beat up, but to be getting beat up and walk down this early in the fight, this is. I mean, what? I mean, I'm yeah, this is only what, round three, right? And I'm wondering what uh Baba Tony's corner is letting him know because whatever he's been telling him, all right, it doesn't seem like he's listening. Oh, nice uppercut there by, by Nang. Or Urbina. Alexis Urbina. He's really putting the pressure together. Baba Tunde, all he really has working for him is that one, two in the uh, the, the uh, rear uppercut. And that's all he really has working for him. But straight landed by Urbina. Alexis Urbina is looking really good. Um, and, you know, I, I think him versus Rasputin will be a very interesting bout. And I, if that one was made next, I would be. Very, very uh, interested, very invested in that fight, especially the build up. Right, you're being it right now, you know. Oh, obviously, nice. that was a nice slip straight there by Urbina. Obviously, both these fighters are young right now, but you can tell, you know, they're really raw. You know, with Baba Tone, you know, defense, you know, he's obviously just, he's not looking too sharp. I mean, you know, he's a young fighter, he's gonna learn, but Urbina, you know, he's taking control of this fight and he's taking good shots. But another thing I would tell, I would look out for Urbina. You know, he is possible the way that, you know, oh, he's Baba fighting Tunde, defensively. He wants him at the end of the round. Go he ahead. Go ahead, Dave. You're being leaving some stuff open. I think if I'm going to take his time, he can eventually, you know, set something up. Yeah. I, yeah, he, he he sure does have something on there with the with the uppercuts. That is one thing. That's for sure. With the uppercuts, he has something going. And he could, yeah, he could really possibly, uh, you know, land one of those uppercuts and possibly knock or being it down. But that was a nice one-two lands there by Bubba Tunde. Oh, oh, and oh, or being a, he gets stunned. Oh, like I said, Ooh. I called him. Baba Tunde. He's looking lost. This is a round that Baba Tunde yeah. needs bad. Oh, that was a nice uppercut. If I'm Baba Tony, I'm going right back in. I'm trying to go find a way to put him down because you need this round desperately after, you know, oh, looking that like nice. that for the first couple. Shots to the body, shots to the head everywhere from your being. Oh, that, oh, or being Ooh, nice really, shot. He's, yeah, he's looking to win that round again, man. He's really throwing these shots. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. Nice uppercut from Baba Tone. Oh. Tone, he, he looks really good in here. This is a good round. This is a good sign. From Baba Tone Day, I think his corner is gonna be pleased with this one. That's a really good fourth. This so far has been a really good fourth round for Baba Tone Day. Let's see if he can keep it up for his last Just 20 done. seconds. Yeah. Even being stunned, you know, Alex, you know, uh, sorry, uh, Alexis, you're being a show no signs of backing down. He wanted to go in there, steal that round, but I think he heard it from his corner, you know, just let him he, have he that. He might one. have actually stole that round. He might, he might have. Yeah, he fought back really hard right there. All right, deep breaths now. Deep breaths. Relax. All right, let's see what Bob Matunde is coming out here with. Oh, that was, oh. Or being a, he's really landed the combination. That was a clean body uppercut. And I think you know, feeling that pressure right there. I think you're being a. He wants now. He wants to really fight harder. I think. I, I think. Being a, thing right he there, got stunned. He's he's looking to he's looking to get his back. Yeah, I think right there. It didn't really. I don't think that that stun really scared you. Being a, it looked like it more so. Be with his fire. 
Yeah. Oh, that was a nice body. Yeah, Urbina's really working the body. Oh, that was a nice trade there by Urbina. He has to watch out with the the uh, the chicken wing though. One thing I will say though about your beat, I'm sorry about uh Baba Tone. This guy has a powerful head. I mean, he just he's taking every shot possible and he's staying extending his feet and he's fighting back. Yeah, bro, it's it is it's wild, bro. It's wild. Um but Baba Tunde, one thing that is working for him and it's working for him all night is that one two. And our being yeah, that he's think... staying in the corner trying to flex his defense a little bit. Yeah, one thing about, you know, Baba Tunde. You know, that one two, I think you stay on it, but you know, obviously, yeah, you know, there's a pit there's there's a cap off to how many, you know, how many times you could throw it. So I think right now, you know, you limit yourself to when you want to throw it. You still have about uh, about this round and about two, three more before the eighth round pop comes up. So, you know, right now I think he just needs to fight smart. And, uh, oh, that was a nice counter there by Baba Tunde with the body uppercut. Last 12 seconds. Yeah, that was a, that was a pretty good round for Baba Tunde. Right. These guys are coming out here in the in the sixth round and just going straight to it. Well, oh, that was a nice uppercut there, Baba Tunde, looking for the yeah, one two. Early on, a lot you see a lot of times early on in the fight you get a, you establish what type of fight oh. it's going to be. And right mm. now these guys are established. This is going to be a slugfest, so somebody's going to have to get knocked out. The way these guys are fighting and the way these guys' heads are, it doesn't oh, seem like nice nobody's going to take it Papa Tunde. Papa Tunde, you know, in those first three rounds, he didn't look too good. And, you know, these last two rounds. He's making a turn around. He is. Yeah, last two rounds, he's looked way better. I think we he, another thing, a little bit more that he's to work on, you know, just allowing your being to throw those shots and hit those counters. I think that's where he can fall in line and, you know, end up, you know, possibly putting down your being. You know, obviously in that uh, fourth round, I believe. You know, oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. Your being, how is he still up shot. on his feet? And your being Respect is still from up. from both of these warriors, man. Whoa. And Baba Tunde really turning his fight around. Good trade there by Urbina. In the middle of my words, Baba Tunde. But Tunde. Oh, my. But Tunde <laughs> is with the, with the powerful uppercut. I'm telling you, these uppercuts and the one twos are working for Baba Tunde. But Baba Tunde, he does call himself the one two king. That is his nickname. Um, but yeah, man, he has to throw some hooks as well because hooks probably would have gotten him the knockdown. Or right, respect to both of these men, bro. After the after the stun, Arbina still going in here and throwing um, throwing down with Baba Tunde. Baba Tunde, nice one two. It's an exciting fight so far. It's really exciting. Urbina uh, trying to fight Bina back. Landing straight. And now Urbina off the Urbina sure first is time, fighting back. Off the first time, I think you're being a, you know, he didn't, like, you know, obviously he didn't, I don't think he feared anything. But now that it happens again, and this guy has yet to back down. He's, on, he's, getting, he's gaining some confidence, and he's getting he's getting some of the, uh, the momentum back as well. Right, I think, you know, I think that now you start to wonder if you're, you're, you're being a, you gotta think to yourself. Now I have to fight. You know, you have to. You have to be a smart fighter. The first three rounds, you were able to go in there and you know really, you know, beat this guy up. Now he's fighting back. Now he's being smarter. And then obviously, like I said, the first stun, I don't think it affected your being a. But now the second one, now you start to wonder, you know. Yeah, what is up? You, you know, how where's your confidence level now? Exactly. You know, Baba Tunde, he's coming out still throwing down. Um. Oh, still getting counters. This is a great performance here by Bob and Tunde. And you, and you think about Bob and Tunde. Great, great work by both men. You know, Urbina still going. He's going with the uppercut. But he has to watch out for that straight. That was a beautiful uppercut counter there by Urbina. Urbina has to watch out for the straight in the one, two. And I think switching to orthodox will help him. That's exactly what he does there. <laughs> one thing I will say so far, Bob and Tunde, his, right now, his, his body language you know, he still looks effective so far with his hands, but you know, he's slowed down a little bit since those first early rounds. And that's going to happen during the boxing match. But to me, it looks like, you know, you know, his head's bobbing back a little bit more in some of these punches he is taking. Mm -hmm. 
Venus seems Venus to be taking us to the same. Off. That's wow, another big counter right there about Rotunde. Eesh. Oh, that was a nice counter there by Bubba Tunde. Or being he's still in this bout throwing back, but he, yeah, he needs to land that rear fight. uppercut. Needs this fight is closer than ever. Oh, nice uppercut there by Urbina again. Oh, nice one two there by Bubba Tunde. Ooh. I'm in that uppercut on the chin. I said both these fighters, especially about with Tunde, have a they both these guys have hella chains. Yeah, both yeah, these gracious. have strong chains. Uh Urbina, he's eating the straight. Oh, that was a nice straight by Urbina. Nice one too. And oh, he nice. almost got the knockdown the there. Seconds. Nice hook right there. And now we're going to the final round fight. of this eight round fight. And I think this one, this, whoever wins this round possibly wins the fight. This is the biggest round yeah. of fight so far. Here we oh, go. that was a nice uppercut. But Tunde, he's, he's still throwing the one-two. He, he lands it again there. I think he might have passed the one-two limit or, you know, the or the punch limit. Um, but, I mean, this is a very entertaining bout. Um, but, yeah, Baba Tunde will definitely have to check that. Uh, Baba Tunde, you know, now I think you kind of – oh, that's two great straights right there, actually. But I think now if I'm Baba Tunde, I think you – Probably, you probably want to see you can knock this guy out. You know, I think both of these guys are looking for the knockout. The way this fight has been going for both fighters, it can go either way. And I wouldn't want to send it to the judges' scorecards just by the way both of these guys have been fighting. Well, oh, that was a nice one-two there by Baba Tunde. Good one-two there right back by Urbina. Ooh, Baba Tunde. Both of these guys are fighting with all their hearts, and that's something I can definitely respect. Right. Uh, there and I think you know Arbina. You know, obviously he's held multiple national world championships there in Argentina. He is really big on the Argentinian uh, amateur scene. Um, so I One he knows left. how to box. You know, but I think now you know it's his pro debut here in Copper Box UK, and he's trying to. Oh, Arbina almost getting no the knockdown. He's landing some heavy shots. Oh, Baba Tunde's hurt. My goodness, Tunde. This is very close. Baba Tunde's hurt. He's spinning around. 40 Urbina, seconds. Can Baba Tunde stay on his feet? This is huge. 30 Look seconds. Look at Baba Tunde's chin. Good Baba hit. Tunde Adamola's chin. 25 seconds. Urbina was so close to getting the knockdown, but hey, let's look on the bright side. That probably sealed him the round there. That was a big momentum swing. Baba Tunde was hurt, and he's still getting counters. And Urbina still. Oh, oh man. that was a nice counter. Urbina. And that is the end of the eighth and final round. What a fight. And wow. That was a. Great fight from both fighters. All right, let's 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 see. Let's see the, the judges' scores, and let's tally up these scores. And I think... Uh, the unofficial I, I judge gave it a, a draw, uh, but Nang did land a, a lot more shots than Baba Tunde did. Yeah, um, I, I gotta so, be honest. You know... Yeah. You're being a... You know, he, you know, he landed a lot of shots on, uh, on Baba Tunde, obviously, but I can't, I can't really decide who that went to. You know, obviously, it was like it was like half and half for the first couple of rounds, and the first next couple of rounds went back and forth. So, you know, that's gonna be it's gonna be a hard, to, you yep. know, to understand who's gonna win that fight. That was a really great fight by both fighters. Uh, yeah, I think right very, there, very Urbina fun definitely needed that last round badly because I don't, I can't really see it in a world where you know, you know, he really was too, you know, the judges are too confident on your Urbina side as last, you know three, four rounds. I think he really definitely needed that 10th round very badly, and I think he was able to steal it. Yeah, he sure was. So here here goes the here goes the uh, the, the, the scorecards. You know, Adonis, that was a great fight. Here goes the scorecards. So after eight rounds of action, we have a majority decision. Judge 1 scores the contest 76-76, uh, a split a draw, split even draw. Judges to overruled by judges two and three who scored about seventy seven seventy five for your winner by majority decision Alexis Urbina Oof. Alexis Urbina that was a very close bout yeah. man uh and yeah. I think you know the judge the stats only show that because of the fact that 
uh, Urbina was winning those rounds when he got stunned, but the stun gave him uh, gave Baba Tunde the rounds. But other than that, Baba Tunde he won at least two or three of those uh, rounds very like yeah. very fairly, you know. Yep. What a, a great really fight good, that was. Good bout. Urbina, uh, you know, salute and hat off to you know, Baba Tunde for coming in short notice and uh, coming in and fighting Urbina. And he did a wonderful job. Um, but yeah, that was that was a very, 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 uh, very fun bout, and that was a very fun event. You know, we had two great fights. Um, you know, I, I gotta I gotta try to get off and sort everything out in SFC. Uh, get ready for the next card that we have in less than thirty yeah. minutes. Um, Adonis, you'll be on that card commentating too. Yeah, I'll let you know. All right, sounds good. That sounds good. Um, and we we'll have another commentator in as well. Um, so the, the the next card should be even better, but that was a very fun card. We had two good fights, yeah. you know, and I, you know, I can't wait to update the rankings and everything and yeah, be on the lookout for the next gen card. And go ahead, yeah. Adonis. You guys got to tip your hats to Sugar, Sugar Show Promotions. You know, that was a good fight. Yeah. I mean, good, I'm sorry, good card they put together right there. The Ricky Fan versus Jai Smooth fight, obviously. You know, it was, you know, a little bit of a landslide for, you know, Ricky Fat and the coming with the win. But it was still a very exciting fight to watch Josh Smooth fight. He didn't make the fight boring. Uh, Alexis Rabina versus uh, James Tony. Obviously, James pulled out the fight. But, had, like I said, hats off but to Bob James Tony, Tony will in. be stepping in on the first bout of the night. He will be fighting Jack Smith in, in just less than 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that was, that was a great, that was a great, great fight. Um, and I can't, I can't wait for these, for these next bouts in, in less than 30 minutes that we have. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to sort everything out. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, that will be the end of this event. Props to Sugar Show Promotions. Uh, shout outs to everyone involved in making this card possible, the fighters. And, uh, shout out to Nang or Alexis Urbina and, uh, Baba Tunde for stepping in on short notice. Baba Tunde was just in the UK area and decided to show up. 